good day. Welcome to another session of the campaign series Vietnam Live. Today we are going to continue playing A Week in the May Cold. I'm at turn 206 of 420, getting close to halfway through. We're in the middle of day four, and I am using the 1.2 one update that should be released within a week or two. Uh, there's some minor edits and those include one boat movement has been significantly improved. So before these ATCs could only move three or four hexes but now you'll see they'll move up to nine hexes during the day. These Control boats, they will also move significantly faster. They move up to 10 hexes, I believe, which is fantastic. It'll make any riverine scenario a lot more feasible. And the other thing that we did with this is we changed the defensive value of the ATCs. Before they were two, and in the last session I they were 11, but I've changed them down to 6, and we're going to try that for play balance to see how it goes. Um, that's pretty much... Oh, there was one other thing. What was the other thing? Backgrounds were enhanced and improved upon, so there's a lot more backgrounds uh, for the messages. And there was one more thing that we had changed. Let me take a look just to refresh my memory. One second. Oh, yes. Uh, there has been... Hey, welcome, Birdo. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. I hope your runs, Rung Sat AAR goes well. You're mentioning that you are multitasking and you're working on it. Um... We have revised how scatter works as well with the game. So, especially for the US, you'll find that it is not as prevalent as it was before. Especially if you are targeting a hex that is occupied by the enemy. So, in this case here, for example, you'll see that I do have, I've shot off all my M16 rounds and etc. And I'm going to plot some artillery. So because I can see these units, if they still remain in the same spot, we should get lucky and there's only going to be a 1% chance of a drift if they remain visible. Um, otherwise, if they don't, then there's a 5% chance of a drift instead of the 8 that it was in 1.20. And if they... If I don't... If the drift for unspotted, uh, the drift for unspotted has been reduced a little bit, but not very much, uh, just as an FYI. Mainly we're dealing with how drift works when it's being spotted and not spotted. Uh, just going back to this, we have a platoon down here. We have two, th four platoons up here. We're going to engage this VC company, clean it out, and we're going to go up in here and take out the other units that we have spotted. Also important under the hood, bug fixes. Yeah, but what are those? Can you specify what those are, Berno? There was also a Ford waterway crossing issue that was fixed. There was a crash the desktop bug involving an ambush messaging, which had happened in very rare occasions. Uh, yeah, the background image loads. There was, in certain cases, there was, uh, it, the messaging would seem to be duplicated on the message, on the backgrounds. That has been remedied. So 1.21 will fix quite a few of these little minor issues that came with 1.20. Uh, what else? And there was a bug 
that was quashed that where a unit might be able to perform two or more consecutive ambush assaults, which doesn't make sense, right? You should only be able to do it once because it's it's no longer in an ambush if, uh, if, if it knows, right? Sorry I'm stuffed up, I don't know why. I think it's allergies or something. Anyway, let's continue on. What are we doing? Let's see. What are we doing? Let's go over here. We have moved all these units and we're about to cross into the into the river here to get these points. We have our swift boat coming around very quickly and it'll it'll be around to provide some support, which is good. We've started bringing helicopters up to transport troops back to Dong Tam. And we're just hunting down some machine guns here. Uh, we have helicopters on station. And here we're waiting for pickup. Also waiting for pickup here. Uh, these are engineers. Let's take this engineer, unload, and start clearing up this mess. And that's it. I think yeah, this is all done over here. Oh, except for the engineer. Let's bring them back. guys need to load and come down the road. Where can they cross? Here. Ha, ah, ran into a block. That's annoying. So these guys have done everything so we can load them up. So we can load them up. finally. Let's go this way. What's this? These are trucks. Let's leave them here. Alright. We have our Arvin. Our only mobile Arvin troops at the moment, which is unfortunate. Okay. I think that's it. Let's continue. Oh, oh no. So my swift boats got eliminated. I'm going to have to double check the the defense of those because one machine gun shot shouldn't have eliminated both of them. It's a good thing these are in bunkers otherwise they'd be annihilated. That's good. They went into an artillery zone. And they can't cross this river here, so we're in luck. Uh, for clearing and maintaining the southern Long Bin Dien area for four turns, the U.S. side has gained a thousand points. Well done for clearing and maintaining all of Area Echo for four turns, the U.S. side gains two thousand points. Five air strikes remaining, two headquarters unable to provide supply, one unit low on ammo, and we have cleared a block. Well, this is our US battery firing at the end. It has six strength points, which is good. Are we gonna get lucky? These are Arvin batteries. Oh yeah, we did. We got really lucky there. Now, let's see if we can't. So, we can't assault, but let's unload our 556 into them. Oh, we eliminated it.
You know what? Let's cross this fort. Oh, there's something there. RPG team. Well, let's see if we can assault it. Haha, <laughs> perfect. So we took out the RPG team. We're going to leave this guy down here for now. We're going to move these guys closer to the fort. So we can assault. We're going to call in that artillery again. Now that the 1.2 artillery fix is uh, is available, it makes such a huge difference for the for the American and free world side player just to have their batteries on station when they need them. It's a huge difference for gameplay. Really happy about that. Uh, let's see. Let's let's take our loach. Go for a cruise back here. See what we find. Ah, there we go. That's where that machine gun is. Okay, so I'm gonna leave my loaches there. Keep it in in sight. I won't hit them with artillery. They still oh they're good. So we can leave these ones on the ground for a handful of turns and then we'll get them up in the air to start going back and forth. Uh, these engineers, they're clearing, so that's good. These guys, they're waiting. We should go find our helicopters to see where they are. Where are all the helicopters? Ah, uh, here. And they're loaded, they're refueled, they're good to go. So let's set them here. And where's the other ones? There's one right there. And go up to the high flight zone, fly down here, drop down. Alright, do we have any other helicopters around? No, let's get our units organized. Highlight, okay. These engineer trucks, let's move them out of the way. Those mortars can go over here. So there we go, that entire company is done. Let's see which company this is. It is B third sixtieth. And what's this? This is C third sixtieth. And we are missing a platoon and a mortar. Where's the mortar? I don't see a mortar. Oh, maybe I lost it. Oh no, it's right there. Okay. So that company is done. That company is done are just hanging out. Oh, we have a 106 millimeter recordless rifle. That's pretty handy. Let's put that in the corner. That way it has a good view over everything across this these patties. And it's got an improved position, so that's pretty good. Uh, scout dogs... We want to keep them off that road. We need that road. Uh, we have M28s. Let's put them up here. Or M25, 825s, sorry, which is a recordless rifle cheap. That's handy. And cheaps with machine guns. That's also handy. Yeah, so let's start organizing where these units are going to go. And this is C. Let's drop them down. Let's get landed, unloaded.
Nice choice of highlight co color, different maps and different terrains work best with different colors. The one you show here is an excellent choice. Yeah, it helps a lot. It visualizes things quite well. Makes sense. And it really distinguishes itself against the background in this particular case for sure. I like it. Let's go down here. Now, if I recall correctly, oh yeah, we're gonna check out those those boats to see what the defensive value is because we lost lost a swift boat just like that, and that seems strange. So, ASP defense. Oh, I had a defense of nine, and it still got annihilated. That's kind of surprising. Well, let's see if we can draw some fire then. Got shot twice. And we took some casualties. Let's see if we can assault it. Let's move in closer with our gunships. So many different highlight choices in part for visual clarity in part to suit different tastes but also because some people are only partially colorblind so they might find one or another color most useful that is very true Berto absolutely let's get some artillery in here because that's not very pleasant Can't believe we lost the boat there. That's kind of frustrating. Let's take a cruise with our M13s. Hopefully we can get across here and not take any casualties. Uh, these guys are waiting for helicopters. Try and get into this hex. Haha! -ha. Yes, we overran that. That's good. Do we have enough to go? Well, no, we don't. We can move our trucks closer, though. Oh, we're off the road there. Let's bring our loaches down. drop down to nap of the earth and see if I see anything. We know there's a machine gun or a sniper in here, but we want to make sure that that's the only thing around here. Oh, we spotted it now. That's good. Uh, since we spotted it, let's take our gunship in. And see if we can hit it. Up. It's going to lead him in the low flight zone around there just to make sure that this doesn't move anywhere. trucks. We don't need the trucks. Alright. Here we go. 
That part's done. Let's take a cruise over to three, 347th, I think. That's what this is. We're done all that. That's good. Here, let's move down to this bridge. Unload. Go for a stroll. And these infantry, we can start heading back. Same with these APCs. Oh, we ran over an ID. We didn't take it out. Oh, that's good. We didn't suffer anything. We have one strength point infantry there. Oh. Civilians. The loaches we're going to leave there. These ones we're going to leave there as well. Okay. We are done. Just make sure I don't have any other helicopters. Everyone's there. Okay. Let's end the turn, see what happens. Let's see what the VC are going to do. Hopefully we'll be able to overrun that as well. Don't take casualties. Oh, they're running away. Interesting. Five air strikes remaining. We didn't pass a morale check. Two headquarters, I never provide supply. Two units low on ammo. Three units need to land, otherwise they're low on fuel. And we have a mine that's been cleared. Ah, oh, the artillery wiped out the uh, VC. Nice. good we're gonna take another loss oh no let's get in there oh sugar oh got lucky I didn't get that lucky though on the bright side it did burn through all of the shots so we can bring the gunship back in ah useless snakes Makes me wonder if I should bump up the uh, the attack value of those snakes, just to give them a little more teeth. Because right now they don't they don't have very much. Uh, do we? Re no, let's not drive in there. Let's... Oh shit! I forgot about that junk. Let's get into a better position. So this is better. Actually, let's just move that right out of the way. Okay. We have eyes on that. We can maybe bring in the gunship to take that out. Oh, no. We have artillery. That's even better. Let's use that. Use a 105 battery. Alright. Get our helicopters doing what they need to do. These ones need to land. That's what these ones need to do. Land in. Actually, let's just do that for all the helicopters over there. Land in. Land in. Okay. Everyone's refueling. Let's 
Sell this. And we took out that sniper. It was only in a trench, so that's good. And let's get these trucks on the road. So these infantry can come down here. And we can haul them to this airfield here for takeoff. We have our helicopters. Pick up some of these guys. Drop down. Load up. And let's take the big one. And these guys drop down. Load up. Just like magic. So these guys can all go next turn to Dong Tam. Then we can send them back for the next loads. Uh, we have another helicopter here. Get them up. Get them all the way up. Head back down here. We don't have a lot of helicopters, so I have to watch. And I lost some already, which kind of sucks. We have one helicopter at this battery. I should be using it to fly. It's, uh, I don't want to risk losing any of the strength points, though. Notice how in CSVN trenches, bunkers are like units also hidden from view unless until they are unconcealed doing an assault. Good luck, etc. Yeah, they'll, or sometimes they'll be empty. If you see, if they're empty, then they'll be, uh, there's a chance they'll be visible or not. But if they're occupied, you're not going to know what it is until you're, you're on it or in it. Light. That's captured, so we've secured. Oh, we have to get that one yet, too. Shoot. Can I assault again? No, I can't. Let's shoot at it, though. No luck. In that earlier assault, the trenches only showed on the resolution of the assault combat. Yep, yeah, no, for sure. But I mean, like, if, it, if it's an empty empty bunker you might uh, see that it's an empty bunker allowing you to utilize that advantage and occupy it all these troops Almost done. This side. Uh, I want a double time. There we go. Uh, okay. So we did really good over here. We. Oh, supply units. Look at that. That's interesting. We're just crossing. Went into the village. Let's see if we can assault that supply unit. Yes, we can. And it ran away. So let's shoot at it. Sorry, I'm having a conversation with Birdo here, and he's saying to, uh, yeah, I forgot to say that Birdo is is typing these things, and I'm reading them as I uh, as I play. I'll make note of it in the future. Sorry about that. Twitch people can see it, but not the YouTube viewers later on. So that's done. Let's move our supplies down. Go pretty far. Now let's take a look at... Let's 
make sure our road is clear. We're going to send our Arvin, our Arvin machine gun first. Just to make sure that the road is still clear. Ooh, that truck and haul. Look at that. Nice. Couple more. Yeah, two turns. They should be intersected together. We'll send this mach this jeep down to make sure this road down here is clear. Excellent. Let's have the turn. No losses. No losses. Don't die. Please don't die. Whew. Hopefully that artillery strike will take that thing out. Clearing and maintaining the Carol Than area for four turns. The U.S. side has gained a thousand points. Five airstrikes remaining. One unit is uh, recovered. The Arvin unit. Five headquarters unable to provide supply. Two units low on ammo. Oh, it got, took a couple of losses. Alberto is asking, you have tweaked the riverine movement and defense. What percentage of total riverine force did you lose before the tweaks? Did you still have most riverine force in t uh, surviving to enjoy the new and improved? Yeah, I only lost two ATC units before. Uh, that was to a junk that totally eliminated it. Plus, I had lost a patrol boat in the very first turns of the, of the scenario. So I do have a whack load of riverine units. They're going to be essential for starting t day six, day six, and day seven. Because so I have to send all these riverine units down to these this area down here. I think day six is where I have to be in here. So in two days, that is a lot of movement. So that'll make using the riverine and helicopters so much more efficient. Whereas before. By the time I got to where I needed to go, the, the day would be over. So, huge to have that. It is kind of crappy that I lost two ATCs, though. But now I can just cross straight away. It's amazing how much I can move now. Uh, the strength points, the defensive value, I still have to figure that out because I lost a, a boat to this machine gun here. And it was a hard attack value at 9. There's no way that that should have taken that out. So I have to double check why that's, why that's happening. I may have to do some more tweaking to the defensive values to understand why they're doing what they're doing. In that case, anyways. Uh, we have artillery. Let's hit that battery one more time, or that machine gun one more time. Oh, wait. Shall we assault it first? Let's see what happens. Didn't get lucky, so we'll just continue hitting that with the artillery and try next turn. Uh, we won't send in the gunships this turn. We do have a loach here. Let's send it over. Draw some fire. Drop down. Oh, it's not taking the bait. Oh, 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 oh. it's not very nice. Okay, let's try our gunships. I'm really, really, really considering changing the, the attack value for these snakes because they don't seem to be very effective. them up to 40. Okay, we had a helicopter 
somewhere. Where is it? There it is. Fly down here. Drop down. Drop down. Uh, we don't have enough action points to load. We do not. trying to assault this or is it just going to run away again yep just running away unacceptable Orders, the free world side gains 50 event points. Alright. Okay, now we know that there's a platoon somewhere. Oh, never mind, found it. Damn it. And we've reduced by two! suffered a squad and a half of casualties from that stupid platoon. Unacceptable. Uh, let's send our infantry down. Loaches are there. We have trucks around. Okay. That's secured. These APCs can come back. guys organized because we're going to have to put everyone back yeah all my platoons are all disorganized before the end of the day need to fix that the engineers ambushed. And let's send our machine guns down. All the way down. All these point 
plants are still green, so there shouldn't be any, but you never know. You just never know. Okay, now let's end the turn. What are the DC going to do? That's probably in a bunker or something like that, so it's going to be very difficult to cause any casualties. or something. Here's a visual reminder of the 360th locker location for the day. Oh, that's cool. And here's a visual reminder of the 3rd, 47th infantry locker's location for the day. Yeah, very handy. And visual reminder of the 4th 47th infantry loggers location for the day. Ah, perfect. So this is 10 turns left of the day, and that's why I'm getting these messages that, hey, you need to be loggering in these locations with your battalions in order to get the proper points. Super handy. Uh, for clearing and maintaining the western bow duck area for four turns, the U.S. side gains a 1,000 event points. Well done for clearing and maintaining all area, all of area Z for four turns, we the U.S. side has gained 2,000 points. Five airstrikes remaining. Uh, oh, I should be using my airstrikes. I keep forgetting about that. Uh, Berto is saying, and no OK button. More room to display larger maps. No OK button is new to 1.21. Yes, I almost missed the OK button. Just saying. Five HQs on over provide supply. One unit low on ammo and unit clearing minefield and or block No, no. Leave it the way that it is, that's fine. Alright, let's, uh, what are we going to do here? Oh, it's a full strength point. Tune two. I only reduced it by one. I only reduced it by two. Actually, we did really good. So let's go in there and assault. Ha <laughs> we overran it. Ooh, that's, that's sweet. Even though we uh, lost quite a bit. And we destroyed supply cache, gained 50. Awesome. And we know that there's a, uh, let's drop down. We know there's a bunker there. Let's see. Let's do a reconnaissance. Aha, that's what it is. It's that jungle factory. So that is good. We can take that out next turn. Uh, here we're looking down the river and we see some boats. Let's take them out. Well, they have two shots. That's okay. But we do have artillery, so let's plot some artillery on that. Is there another boat somewhere in here? I don't know. I don't know. It's too bad I didn't have another boat in there. Just to cross, because otherwise... Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll do that. Let's bring these ATCs now that they can move a million miles an hour. Just so we have a crossing location. So I can move all these trucks back around over to here. And we can just 
just cross, go up this road, and be done with uh, trying to go all the way back and around, because that was kind of frustrating. Uh, yeah, we need at least one ATC. Let's move our patrol boat up. Here we had helicopters ready for loading. Loaded, get them up in the sky. Heading back. These helicopters can all unload. for support mortars. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to organize everyone. Let's move that. Oh, no, can't do it. Never mind. Four forty seventh is a mess are scattered all over all over everywhere okay what's in here reconnaissance for whom need to bring this a cab back oh no that's part of the uh, oh shoot I didn't do that right that's all part of the same thing Assault this or try to. Finally, we took up that machine gun. Now we can send these gunships back, maybe over to this airfield here. Let's get them higher. Flying. Oh, no. Oh, that's right. What can we do? I know there's something there. There it is. We reduced it by two. Let's drop in with our gunships. Drop down, get really nice and close, fire. <laughs> we destroyed it and gained 20 of endpoints. All right. Hey, that gunship was good for something, finally. Put those loaches with them. We have a whack load of trucks, but they're not going to be useful here. Let's load it up 
And let's fly back towards Dong Tam, I think. And that gives us some helicopters. These engineers, they're still clearing, which is good. Those units are gone. Here's our other mobile Arvin force. What should I do with them? Let's put them down here. And all of our Arvin are together. And this is just an empty truck, yeah. Okay. Ten turns left of day four, and we're wrapping things up, so we're doing pretty good actually. This is all taken care of. We have some. One more thing to take out, which is this. Oh, and there's a machine gun here too. We have to go deal with that. Okay. You know what? Let's go send one of these trucks. Actually, we can just take this infantry and load it up into the supply truck. Haha! <laughs> Next turn. Okay. Let's end the turn. That boat is shooting at us. Hopefully we survive. We're in a village, so it's decent. What's that? Civilians? Yeah, they're civilians. Five airstrikes remaining. One unit has recovered. Two headquarters unable to provide supply, one artillery unit unavailable, and one unit low on ammo. And we've cleared a block of tanks. Let's see if we get lucky with this artillery. We do. Wow, artillery was useless. Okay, let's direct fire at it. Also useless. Also useless. Oh, that's not good. But what is not going to be useless is taking out that jungle. We're destroying the jungle factory. We have gained 50 event points. Score! Is there anything else here? Oh, the machine gun. So, notice I'm flying this loach right next to a machine gun. We are flying Nap of the Earth. I did take... I soaked up two shots, but I did have my helicopter reduced by one on the third shot. From one hex. At Nap of the Earth. So, that makes sense. was their purpose to draw fire so the gunships could come in and do their dirty work so we're just gonna go around take this out our uh, helicopter can actually go get refueled let's do that drop it down now it's grounded so it'll refuel next turn and we have another one good to go right there Let's get him up in the sky. Leaving him in the low flight zone. A little more survivability. This has done what it needs to. Let's go clear this minefield over here. Bring the trucks with it. Have some support. Uh, we have a helicopter. It's gonna fly back to this base here. down and unload this infantry let's go up here it's overstacked and this infantry let's go down here the 
these helicopters they're refueled let's get them up head towards the next uh, load down here same with these helicopters they are refueled land next turn then we'll pick up those two platoon or three platoons there that's a good thing Just moving all of our trucks down to the airfield these helicopters and snakes have been refueled but I'm going to leave them there. I think there's no need for me to move them anywhere else. So let's just leave them there. Uh, we have civilians here. Let's grab our supplies. Get them closer to the Dong Tam so we can get loaded up again. Hey, for no ambushes. Good. Down here, that's fine. Up here, we've done this. Let's hit that with artillery or that machine gun. Oh, out of ammo. What? I'm not used to that now. And we're going to bring our ATCs closer, but not go inside until taking out that junk that's in there. These guys have done their duty. These guys can go over here, land, get reached. Oh, another machine gun. Do a shot. Let's do two. Okay, let's get out of the way. Run away! Run away! So there's a machine gun and a platoon there. And they're in the middle of nowhere, so I'm just gonna leave them there. Hey Robbie, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining. guys have done now. We can leave the Arvin down here, but we need to uh, head these guys back up to that landing zone here. Oh man, my American 447, they got butchered. It is my herding battalion, let me tell you. Sheesh. Double checking this road to make sure that it's clear. Which it is. That means our supplies can get to where they need to go quickly. Are you doing well today, Robbie? End the turn. Let's see what the VC are going to do. So we have nine turns left of this day for tonight. Oh no. Blasted machine guns. Civilians, don't shoot them. Uh, for clearing and maintaining the northern Mai Fong area for four turns, the U.S. side gains a thousand event points. Five airstrikes remaining. 
and no one has recovered. Two headquarters unable to provide supply. One artillery unit unavailable. One unit low on ammo. And we have a snake that's low on fuel. All fine, thanks. This is what Bobby is saying. Looks like the top of a beautiful scenario. Yeah, this is one of the uh, weekend scenarios, the easier one of the two. Uh, this one has you commanding the second brigade of the 9th infantry, I believe, which is a marine unit. You have three battalions, and each day has a different mission. There's seven days, that's why there's 420 turn. We are on day four, almost the end of day four. There's nine turns left in day four. Well, the daytime part of it. There's still night turns, but uh, so far so good. There, the missions today were securing this area where my mouse is highlighting. Well, let me just turn on the labels. All these two areas. So it was Area New, Area Z, Area Mu, Area Lamba, Area Omicron. They needed to be secured by one of the battalions. The other battalion was clearing Area November. And the last battalion was clearing Area Delta and Area Echo. Uh, mostly it has gone well, with the exception of me taking some severe losses due to ambushes. Birdo saying, complicated, beautiful, and long. 420 turns. Yes. But it's cool. So, but this is the smaller of the two. The A Week in Bin Long is a far more complicated and intensive scenario. It's still 420 turns, but you're going to be doing a lot more in that particular scenario. Uh, let's go down here. Can we assault this thing? Let's see. Yes. All right. We took that guy out. I don't know what else is in here, but we're going to go hunt down this boat. Don't take any losses. Yay. Reduced by one. Jeez. Not to shoot. That's too bad. Uh, Birdo saying we can make Hong for beginners. We can bing long for masters. <laughs> Who didn't have a life? Yeah, no. It's it, this is a good one to start with if you're going to play one of the weekend series because it's it's relatively you can see that I'm burning through the turns even during busy times in you know twenty minutes or something like that. Um, during the night turns, you're literally just pressing in turn. You can be organizing your units, preparing for something, but typically the nights are time for you to relax and not have to think or plan for your tomorrow. Um, weekend bin long, there's way more going on. There's a lot more battalions. It starts off with only two, but by the end of it, you're playing with, I think it's 10 different battalions that you are operating, which, and the map is much much bigger it's probably three times the size of this one that you're operating in no riverine units though which makes sense considering it's uh in between war zone d and war zone c all right helicopters they're refueled. Let's get them in the sky. What's this? Oh, this is that battery. Let's move the battery to here. glitch, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. Why is there 
a supply unit here? There is. So let's land. It's on the ground now. And I'm going to take my supply unit that is here. Just move it right there. So that both of these units will ref refuel next turn. And they'll be ready for tomorrow's operations. Uh, these engineers, they're clearing still. Perfect. Uh, down here. Alright. So there's still half a company down here, or most of a company down there. I'm going to ignore them because they're on an isolated island. That will probably bite me later on, but I'm not going to worry about it now. Ah, shoot. I forgot to go higher. They can land. Let's load these guys up. Same with these. Let's land. Load them up. And we can take off. Head north. Take off. Head north. Uh, Bruno is saying, and it's been long, much more active night operations. Uh, it'll depend on the day. Not at first, but as the days progress, yeah, things will get ugly. guys need to double time. What are we going to do with you guys? Let's send them up. These guys, they need a road. They need a road. Could probably go across this area here pretty quickly because there's a main road down here. I'm curious to see if I can travel faster by water or by land. Should be able to go pretty quick by land. Oh, I can't go through there because that'll send me right into this death zone. That's not good. Sugar. Where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? We'll go back this way. Up through here. That's what we'll do. So I'm spending the last handful of turns here just collecting my units and getting them ready to be transported back to Dong Tam for the most part. And up here, cleaning out these last units here so I can start hauling. There's junks in here somewhere. Where are the junks? Let's go find them. There they are. Okay, we need to take those junks out. So let's, oh, that battery's still out. Darn it. Do we have this battery? Will it reach? It will not. It's too far away. Okay. Let's take our patrol boat up. And can we see? We can. Can we shoot? shoot, but to no effect. And we're just going to move our ATCs closer, but we really need to deal with that. So we can take the ATCs down the river and have all these infantry cross towards this location here, so we have our trucks ready to pick up the units. Uh, we don't need the jeeps. All these trucks ready to pick up this infantry to take them back to uh, this military area here. That's where all that infantry needs to go. These guys can load into the supply trucks. Perfect. 
these supply trucks and we no longer need them there. There's a... Uh, we can move them to that location. These helicopters can get up, come on down, join the foray. Hopefully that two of them will keep that unit spotted so the artillery will be effective. We're hoping. Okay, I think that's it for this turn. Let's end it. Don't die. Oh, seriously? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Fu Long area for four turns. The U.S. side has gained a thousand points, and well done for clearing and maintaining all of area Omicron for four turns. The U.S. side has gained two thousand points. Five airstrikes remaining. We have uh, one gunship low on fuel, one unit low on ammo, one artillery unit unavailable, and six units that are unable to provide supply. And we have a loach that has recovered. That's good. And we know the junk is there. We just can't see it. Did reduce it though. So let's use those that battery again. See if we can get lucky. I'm not going to bring my ATCs in. I have no idea why that thing was destroyed. It had an a defensive value of nine. I will have to double check that. That's kind of strange. Maybe I didn't do it right. Should have survived. Uh, okay, let's back to the grind. Let's get these infantry moving as quickly as possible. This infantry we don't really care about, but let's get him into a better position. These ones are waiting for pickup. These helicopters are heading back to Dong Tam. is going to go down to the airfield. Ah, boats. Come on. And we can land there. Yes. So we'll start haul hauling up these uh, American forces. We have all of our trucks. Arvin troops are going back to Ventray. There was an American in here. Let's unload them. So that was an empty truck. that. Nice. So we can put these Arvin trucks 
back down the road. see what we have for Arvin down here which is not very much but we do have almost a full strength battery which is awesome oh, speaking of battery let's use that against that because we can see there was something there these guys are digging in still okay they're waiting for pickup Let's take these guys and we were gonna go where can we go not that way we want to go this way we'll come, up, come up here and go through these woods here because we want to avoid this because there was a whole bunch of VC in there we don't have the strength to take that out See, let's deal with these junks. They're ready. Let's shoot up these boats here. Holy. We reduced it by one finally. Reduced it again. Let's use our heavy machine guns. One more. Oof, they're tough. There, we destroyed it and gained 20 event points. to send our boats in because that would be crazy. checking our road for us. They did a good job. And we're going to bring our supplies down. So remember, now that these guys, they have to go to Dong Tam, and once they get there, they have to sit there for five turns in order for me to gain the supplies that I'm going to be receiving from them. That's one reason why I want to make sure that this road is clear, that way I don't get ambushed like we did during that one scenario. Um, yeah, that was brutal. I lost 11 out of 12 supply vehicles in an ambush. That was bad. That was really bad. Seven more turns of daylight. Which means I only have seven turns to get all my units back to where they need to be. Civilians meandering around. Five airstrikes remaining. Uh, no one has recovered. Three headquarters under right supply. One artillery unit unavailable. We have one unit low on ammo. We have one uh, snake that needs to be checked. I'll have to double check that. We finally did something with that regional forces platoon. They built an improved position. It took how many turns? Like 20 turns. That's funny. And 
a unit has cleared, but let's check this out. 137136. Junk is there. Hopefully we're being effective. down. Oh, we're almost out of fuel. Let's land. Let's land quickly. There we go. And then these guys can load. Let's load up the mortars. American trucks. Let's just put them here. And drop down. There we go. So it's tedious, but it's kind of kind of interesting to do this. I'm trying to figure out the most effective use of your helicopters considering you have very very limited amounts of them where to send them to make sure that everything is being taken care of if you do everything on time okay there we go speaking of doing so let's take this battery unload it Take off with this helicopter and start heading it this way. So all these units here will come down here. Just take up these four units. One, two, three, four. So that should be enough for all the American forces there. And then we'll, once that's done, we'll take care of the units that are down here. And that should be that for 4th 47th. These guys, on the other hand, let's do a reconnaissance. There's that frickin' boat. Oh, there's another porter. Look at that. Let's take them out. Oh, I ran away in the wrong direction. Started reporters gained 50 cent points. Nice. That was kind of surprising. Uh, do we have any batteries? Do we have both these batteries? Nope. We do not. Oh, it's only got two left, though. That's good. Should be this one here. Let's just highlight them and highlight the organization. And yes, it is. So that will go up there. That will go there. So we're going to do like we've been doing before and make sure that all of our platoons are, are together. Or our, all of our company are, companies are together. So that way when we have the next day's mission, it'll be a lot easier to organize. Save. Check these guys out. We moved everyone except for this guy. How can far can he move? These guys are done. Engineers. Oh, they're 
they're done. Load them up. Do we have it? Oh, there's another mine right there. Just going around clearing mines. That way we have freedom of movement. decided to shoot at them. That's nice. Uh, night will be arriving the next handful of turns. You should have your forces on the way to or at the biovac areas for the night. Loggers include 360th and 447 that should be at Dong Tam base, and 3rd 47 that should return to the military area between Dong Tam and Maitho. So that was basically from the maps that we saw before. This is just the textual reminder. Uh, five units, or five airstrikes remaining, three units unable to provide supply, one artillery unit unavailable, and one unit low on ammo. strike. Let's do that with rockets. What an A6 with rockets. That'll wipe that thing out. Oh, never mind. We destroyed it. Okay. So now we can bring our ATCs in. Wow, look how far they move. That's amazing! Yay! And with the AC ATCs here, we'll be able to start crossing. Get in these trucks. Go to where we need to go. take care of that section. These helicopters, let's land them here because we're going to refuel them. Land them both right there. Nope, don't have enough action points. Unloaded. Third forty seventh. Oh man, these are at the wrong place. They are at the wrong place. Thank you. 
load those two platoons up in the trucks, take them where they need to go. So that's right. check to see which company this is. C447, which is good. This is A447, which I'm missing some platoons. This is B through 60th. Okay, well, it's the right spot, except they should be up here. Right. E360th. Am I missing a complete platoon? Oh no, it's right there. Oof, I was worried there for a second. Let's double time these guys, try and get them to the airfield. Let's move these guys down to here. This. Sheesh. Wow, a lot of helicopters around. A lot of machine guns around. Okay, so we can pull those out. Uh, battalion headquarters with these platoons. How far can these guys move now? Oh, that's way better. <gasps> oh, I ran into a minefield with my ACAB in the water. Oof, we got lucky. Got really lucky. points to drop down. Oh no! That's all moved. This will be done. Okay. Yeah, we're going, we're breezing through the turns here, which is good. Oh, we need to move our supplies before I forget. Need to move our supplies. Uh, what's the fastest way to get there? Let's go here, and then let's go here. here. And that's an IED, so we'll have to be careful of that next turn. And he can go here. And those two Arvin troops we can send back to that uh, airfield. Oh, civilian. is there we go so that airfield is protected we're almost good to go let's end the turn see what happens five more turns to darkness
five airstrikes remaining, three headquarters unable to provide supply, two installed ammo, and we have cleared a mine. Well, the airstrike decided to come in anyways for some practice. Okay, now we have ATCs here. Let's utilize them, start crossing our units. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now we don't have any action points left, so we can't cross. That's great. That's so handy to be able to do that without having to load, unload. All you have to do is you double click your unit, put it in the hex where the transports are, one at a time, just for safekeeping. And uh, yeah, that's it. Sweet and simple. Makes life so much simpler. Uh, we have trucks here. Let's go to the minefield. Oh no! Oh. And let's move these supply trucks up here just to reload those uh, loaches. The jeeps will send back to the base. start loading all these infantry up and we'll be done with this mess over here and I think that's all that we have yeah the Arvin there hanging out we have some American trucks we have gunships that are reloaded we have some loaches and stuff that are reloaded or refueled Need to get these close to the landing field. Let's load up all this. Let's move these. Where can they move? All the way up to the road. Perfect. We'll start heading them back across. They will have to cross the river, but I don't think they can do it as fast now as the boats can. Uh, Berto was saying it had to be a simple way to accommodate the S O S A L otherwise S A I sorry, otherwise way too complex, way too slow. It had to be simple that way to accommodate the S A I otherwise way too complex, way too slow. Sixtieth guys and put them in the right spot. And let's get these guys moving where they need to go. now or the companies now that'll make life easier when I am driving up and I just need to move everyone where they need to go okay move our supplies if I haven't done so already no I did not Your supply has arrived and must remain here for 10 turns. Oh, okay. 10 turns, then I get the supply bonus. Okay. That's good. Let's 
so I'll be getting this live bonus in the middle of the night. Five uh, airstrikes remaining, four headquarters, unidentified supply, two units low on ammo, and we have cleared another round. Yay! Okay, this cheap we can put back here. These units we can start loading into trucks. Drive towards the road. These platoons we can come across. These platoons we can start loading. We can start heading back. Oh, that worked like magic. That was way better. You know what? I'm going to take these ferries and start going down the road or down the river. turn, but these helicopters can take off now. Head back towards the base. And these. The cavalry unit needs to go as quickly as possible, as far as possible. this way across the river, which I think will be here. That's the shortest route right there. So we need to go in this way. So we'll go up this road, cross here, cross there, go back to the base. That'll be the fastest route. right now. I'm feeling good by the end of the day here today. All these helicopters are good. This is done its task. Load that up. There was a mine somewhere down here. These guys are almost loaded. Helicopters. Find the helicopters. Make sure they're unloaded. Let's drop down, drop down, unload. So that mortar belongs to whom? To them. Okay. We'll reload that helicopter. Get it ready for its next flight. And we can end the turn. was saying, referring to moving so easily across waterways via river transport. Yeah. No, that's true. Good point. Yeah, civilians wandering around. Five air sharks remaining. Five headquarters unable to provide supply and two units low on ammo. So let's deal with the helicopters here first, since that's where we are. Get them up in the sky, get them up high, and get them out of the way. Go there. And this 
headquarters is the headquarters. Uh, where should we put them? Down here. They need to refuel. Our other helicopters are down here. They can load up. Oh no, they can't load up because they're still flying. Oh shoot. Now they can load up. Now they can take off. here and that needs to go up we're gonna take these helicopters off over here by hand again so yeah I have these American forces that need to to move across the river or to fly back let's unload these engineers get ready to take that mine out all these guys need to go up to the road Helicopters are good. We can send them back. They can go here. It's a close day. I mean, the units are arriving back at the base pretty much when they need to be because there's only three turns left in order to uh, to make it. There is some grace period, so you don't have to have your units, you know, uh, at their locations, you know, right at the very start of the night. You do have a few turns of grace, just in case you're running behind a little bit, which, as I clearly am, I should have been doing this quite a while ago, but I did not. Based on the experience before, that's probably just civilians running around. Yeah, civilians. Six units, or five airstrikes remaining, six headquarters, unable to provide supply, two units low on ammo, and two air Hueys need fuel at 78-123. Let's do all decks. 78. One, two, three. Oh yeah, they're out. They're heading on the way back, anyways. So that's okay. Let's get them up here, and let's drop them down, and then we can actually just land there. Next turn, these ones can take off and go up to the high flight zone. One can go down to the airfield, drop down, drop down again. I don't have enough to load, I don't think. Ha, <laughs> except my leader. Heck yeah! So I just need two more helicopters down here because everything else is going to stay there. And yeah, just those two helicopters will be enough for down here. That takes care of all of that. Now we just have to move all these units back to the base. Organize them. Unload. There's 
There's another truck here. Right, let's unload. I'm gonna leave those helicopters there. Another infantry. of uh, 360th here. ATCs can go back. Ooh, it'll be close. Airstrips remaining, 10 headquarters, unidentified supply, which makes sense because I'm down to 58 for supply of both. Uh, two units low on ammo, two helicopters are low on fuel, and we have cleared a mine. And we're, I think it's the last day turn. So let's go in here. Who do you belong to? You belong to you. Who do you belong to? A company. I guess we're going to put you there. I just noticed is that those trucks this group of trucks use that AP this patrol boat as a ferry huh interesting that's kind of bizarre that's all right that's all right explains why I was missing some platoons because yeah they're still they were in the wrong spot uh, speaking of let's drop these guys down and unload where do they go they're both oh that platoon got decimated or company got decimated
Two more platoons left. That's it. Okay. Let's end the turn. Go to night time now. So that was like misclick. That was a uh, notification that air, air support has stopped. And then this is a warning that 347th is not in this logger. Yeah, I know. This is a warning that 447th is not in this logger. Yeah, I know. And 360th is not in this logger. Oh, it should be. I don't know why it's not. This is a warning that A, ACFR is not in this logger. It should be as well. Huh. Oh no, it's not because I forgot to move that one. I still have that. Uh, yeah, shoot, I still have this. That's right. Flying high, we don't have any negative effects from flying at night. Only if we're nap with the earth. And can we unload? Yay, we can! Ah, shoot. units together. Oh, everything with the trucks moves so slow at night now. Damn it. Uh, Birdo is asking, is all of this activity time compressed or does this weaken Mekong scenario barely acting to simulate a typical flow of ops in the the delta or is this simulated an especially busy week ah uh, no yeah so this is a busy week considerably the the flow of operations would be significantly slower typically uh, historically you would be doing one one or two of these type of operations of these major area clearings a week as opposed to the intensity that we're doing with this particular scenario just because it it would be very boring if we were just doing two areas per week um, so yeah so the battles that are happening uh, all happened to the riverine unit they just didn't happen in the same week that's all so in that sense there's historical flair here but the battalions involved you know they were I think it was a month or two between the different various battles uh, so yeah that answers Burgo's question 
historically this would be very mundane and very boring with five minutes of action. That's why it's like this. And Bin Long is is similar. Uh, the operations that were happening for the Bin Long scenario happened over the course of the month and the climax of the scenario never happened. Uh, it was historically defeated before it got off the ground, but in order for the the flare, we uh, I added that uh, the final battle to give the American player a lot of things to be focused on and thinking about and wiping out some VC if they want to. But there were occasionally weeks this busy, not this busy, no, not at all, Berno was asking. No, nope, not this busy. Not at all. Yes, it is. So, representing how things or how all the operations would have gone for sure, just at a condensed scale, as you as you suggested, Berto. Otherwise, this would need to be like three thousand turns. <laughs> no one is gonna play that. I mean. How many people are playing 420 turns already, right? That's crazy. All right, so we're almost at the uh, the end of day four, and day five I know is going to be a doozy. Um, I am going to save it here. We have been playing for two hours, and we shall continue this again on Wednesday night. Oh, no, we will not be doing this on Wednesday night because I have a work work job that I need to do that night. So next Saturday we will continue this and we'll see what happens on day five. These campaigns do progressively get harder as the days go on so day five should be a little more challenging than what we've seen so far. Uh, it'll be even more challenging because I have taken so many losses especially with 447th. 447th is probably operating at about 35% strength right now. It's it's tough. I think 347th is the strongest and 360th is doing okay. Probably about 70% strength. But yeah. 447th, they've been butchered. It's been a tough one. I am going to get some Arvin reinforcements. I just don't remember if they come on day 5 or if they come on day 6. So we'll have to see what happens. Thank you so much for tuning in. Muchly appreciated. If you are watching this on YouTube and you have any questions, do leave comments below. Uh, always have an answer, regardless what they are. You can also ask at the Matrix Game Forum under Campaign Series Vietnam or on our Discord. All the links are going to be down below in the description. Thank you so much, and thank you to our patrons for supporting us. Have a super day. Have a great weekend. Take care. Smile always. Talk to you soon.